Uh, through 15 years, Jared Ruffhead's won a place in football fans' hearts, no matter what persuasion you are. And the larrikin spirit, that common touch, the country boy feel, was all there today as he formally drew a close to a career that will see him farewelled on Sunday. There's a few people, I reckon, within the industry that as soon as you see them, you start smiling. He's one of those guys. He's a bit of a people's champion too, isn't he, Ruffy? I think the, the whole game just loved the guy. He's been an incredible ambassador for our game and the people within sport and, and cancer sufferers to boot. I've probably known it was coming for 12 months or so, but, um, you know, I I'm, I'm guess I'm happy because I've been able to be here for 15 years and I've had a great time here. I've been able to do what not many people can do and to say I've been at one club is something pretty special. It's worked out that it's very nice that I can be able to play this Sunday, but it wasn't like it was, you've got to play me, otherwise I'll crack the sads. As I said, I understood where the club's at and I'm, no, I'm not bigger than the club. The club's perfect, so... Um... <laughs> yeah, well, they're three minutes. <laughs> Didn't even last that long. Probably the thing that strikes me the most about him is just how he's been able to come back from a hell of a lot of adversity. It's not, I mean, the cancer one is obvious, and that was that was life-threatening and one that touched the hearts of us all. He's just so tough and resilient, and, you know, that was just such a great example to the rest of his teammates. He never complained, he just got on with it. He played sore a lot, no one ever knew, not even me. And the great beauty of him was just very, very selfless and uh, put the team ahead of himself so often throughout his, throughout his footy career. Can the skipper put them in front with anything. Good, long, straight kick. He does. He does. You drive out on the freeway every day knowing that you're coming here to work with, you know, 150 close friends. Everyone's been such a great part of this footy club and, and my time here. So I definitely will miss that because that's all I've known. I've never had a job since I left school. I've just come straight into this. We'll leave. Uh, a, a long legacy at this footy club for the contribution that he's made. Uh, that legacy will be on field, that legacy will be uh, off field and it'll be with our supporters and the memories that they'll have. And that legacy will be with so many people that are sitting here, particularly so many of his mates who he's played a lot of footy with. The dream was to play senior footy for Liam Gaffer. Yeah, I think he would have accomplished that. Yeah, it was very nicely done today, wasn't it? Um, Ruffy's legacy. I think the nicest thing someone can say about you is you're a good person. Forget that he was a great footballer. Every single person says he's a great person. And oh, I thought Damien Hardwick summed it up last night really well. And as I said, I'll put in the paper today about he's the people's champ. He was admired and respected for his football from rival rival fans and then when he when he got his cancer Jared that's, just, that's the most hideous of words I think he gave a lot of hope and strength to people to watch him come back after 12 months get the captaincy showed a lot what the Hawthorne Football Club thought of him to give him the captaincy but I don't know what it's like to have cancer I don't know what it's like to think oh my god I think I might be dying and to see a guy who's got the same fears and challenges and to watch him overcome it and get back out on the ground, I would imagine that would supply some level or some layer of hope for people. And he's been an inspiration on and off the field, which mm. is a rare thing to say about a footballer. So Clarkson used three categories, courage, dignity and humility, and they all fitted neatly in the way that he was able to characterise them. And his footy career, so he came to prominence as the redhead running shotgun with... Buddy Franklin and probably in Buddy's shadow, although that was to underestimate him a little bit. Then he eclipsed Franklin in the goal kicking stakes and then when Franklin was gone, he he went on to occupy numerous roles in a way that, that few do. He could play forward, he could play ruck rover, he could play ruck, wherever he was needed for a while he could serve. I listened to Rosa Ray. You know, we can talk to team... Uh, you, you can talk to fans, we can talk to the coaches, we can talk to teammates, opponents about Jared Ruffick. I kept saying this a lot, but I do drive in for 40 minutes and I listen to you in the morning, you're interviewing Razor Ray and you asked Razor about Jared Ruffhead and he spoke so well about him. He, and he was talking like he was talking like a coach. 
Oh, versatile. Great below his knees. Great below his knees for a big fella. Yeah, and the competitive edge. He had it. And I was getting a bit fired up listening to Razor Ray this morning. I don't know how you, you were feeling, but he really described him so well. And, and what stood out to me, he goes, oh, you had to be on edge when you played Hawthorne. Because you had Hodge, you had Lewis, you had Mitchell, you had Ruffhead, and they were telling me what I was doing wrong. They were so in tune with the game and what everyone had to do in the game. If I made a mistake, they go, no, you should be standing over there. And they gave me an insight on the ground that mm. I hadn't heard before, and that's what days like today are all about.